I can see land. What? Land yes. ho? Land ho! Go. Land ho! Super excited to get there. Mexico! Mexico, we can see land. Look at this water though. I know. So it's like blue. that Mexican blue. Caribbean blue. blue. We're gonna just make a little jibe. We got a jibe around this uh, marker over here. Okay. We're gonna run down one for a bit and then we'll hop into the lagoon. Mexico! Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Jiving. Release. Wow, what a jive. No cheating for me. We'll let you use the electric winches soon enough. Though. Eventually. After this passage? Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. After days and hundreds of miles of sailing, there was one thing and only one thing on our minds. We wanted to get off, let the nugget loose, and explore Mexico. Of course, times are strange for traveling sailors like ourselves, and there was only one slightly minor detail holding us back. COVID. Quarantine flag going up. We're in quarantine, <laughs> we cannot leave the boat. Even though we were safely tied up the dock and itching to step foot on land, we were held captive on board until we cleared quarantine. And we just happened to arrive during a public holiday, which of course was on a Friday. So before we could explore the magical land of Isla Mujeres, we needed to find a way to entertain ourselves for the entire weekend. Okay, you've earned it. So I guess after this passage, I'm finally allowed to raise what? the special Canadian flag. First passage honors. Dun, dun, dun. Word of advice, <laughs> never laugh at the guy winching you up the mast. Okay, advice taken. <laughs> so we had to take a little uh, drastic measures in order to get these flags. They're kind of tangled up up there. So first time up the mast. Yeah. How high do you want to go? I want to get a good view of Mexico. Mexico. How's the view up there? Pretty freaking nice, eh? I'm at the top of the world. The boat looks really big from up here. Say hi, Calico. great view up there of the sunset and and the whole like waterway and everything around here Pretty nice, right? good first trip up the mast on Delos yeah. totally worth it now I gotta get my Canadian flag up let's do it do you want to help are you filming a nugget cam right now all right are we ready hoist them this is for Canada eh 
Do you know the Canadian national anthem? And if so, can you sing it? Oh, Canada. That's it. That's all you're getting. That's all you know. That's all you're getting. What do you think, baby nugs? We officially have a new crew. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Taylor. I'm very proud. I feel proud. We've come upon a dilemma. Yeah. A Customs too, is coming too much tomorrow. Alcohol. And. <laughs> Look at this spread. We may have slightly forgotten about most of what we have on board. Pulling out more? Yeah, there's more in here. We got some work to get done. You better start drinking. We are quarantined in the marina until we check in, which means we have absolutely nothing to do except drink margaritas on our boat until we're checked in, which could be two or three days. Yeah. So, cheers. There's a lot of margaritas. Cheers. 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 And we watched the party boats go by. <laughs> All right. Check-in complete. We're illegal. We can take down the key flag and go and have some tacos. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Da, da, da. Are you ready for some tacos? Oh, I'm one? so ready. All right. We've been ready for a couple days now, and now we finally get to be free and explore. Are you hungover today? Not. Maybe. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> we celebrated arriving in Mexico style. We did. Wow, look at that guy! Oh, big boy! Big fella! Big, big fella! At this point, we had two things on our mind. Tacos, and more tacos. So I lined us up with some local transportation, and we were off. This is us! I love it! What do you think about that parking spot? That's a good parking spot. Yeah. Wow, front row. Are you guys ready? I like it. I'm so Here's ready. A little exploration. Go for a little rip around town. A rip? Oh, heck yeah. Let's go. Oh, are you going to drive? Are you going to drive? Okay, all aboard the Nugget Express. Nagada! <laughs> wow. You can't start it. <laughs> oh, ready. You ready, baby nugs? Here we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that fun? <laughs> Isla Mujeres is just off the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula, about eight miles northeast of Cancun. The island's only about five miles long and a half a mile at its widest point. And by far, the most fun way to explore is by golf cart. So we were just we were just driving down the road and we got lost and we we're making a u-turn and then this guy that's in front of us right now pulls over and he's like hey i came from cancun to see if i could find you guys and uh he's a tour guide it turns out and then he's just gonna take us around random right that's good timing <laughs> all right so your name's juan we randomly just met you on the road <laughs> I wasn't that random, I did chase you around. <laughs> Meet Juan. Not only is he an avid Delos follower and Nacho Libre impersonator, but just an all-around good, fun dude to hang out with. I had a feeling we were going to get on just fine. <laughs> yep. So what are, we, what are we going to be up to today? So, it's completely up to you how the adventure is going to go. But here, what we're going to uh, do right now, this is it's called the Turtle Farm. What happens here is that um, the locals they find turtles they bring them in here and they breed them here every turtle nest that is found on the island is brought here they uh, wait until they're big enough to go out into, into the wild and then they release them that is that's one cool. yeah that's why i let I bring people here these animals are not in captivity they are being released into the wild at some point wow they're so little look at them that's 
Oh, oh no, you missed it. See it there? Turtle sucks. How would you like that Oh, right. It's really nice to see that they have a turtle sanctuary on the island and that they take in turtles that are in trouble or injured and stuff like that and that they can like recover here and then they let them out into the wild again they're so cute though it's very rare that you see them this close you know but they're beautiful wow those are whoa even bigger ones no i know she, she loves, loves it <laughs> she loves she it she just can't get enough of it those ones are bigger than you sierra <laughs> message to pay the bills. East Jordan, East Jordan, this is the Delos Shore Party, over. Oh man, the f we do, huh? If you're looking for something to cozy up with and watch tonight, head on over to 80northseries.com. Hello? Is this the, the southernmost point of the island, but the easternmost point of Mexico, or right. what? Oh, okay, cool. So when we, when we sailed in, we, we sailed from this way, right around the shallows, and then made a turn. But it's the, the southernmost point of this island, and the easternmost point of Mexico, right here. Isla Mujeres has two faces, each very distinct. The east coast faces the open Caribbean Sea, and bears the brunt of open ocean waves on our rocky shores. While the western coast, facing the Mexican mainland, is much more sheltered and provides some incredibly calm water. You found the biggest iguana ever. <laughs> yeah, so it turns out this is the this is a copy of the largest iguana ever captured here on the island. No. Full, full scale replica, one to one. No, that's not. You true. don't believe it? I call the iguana. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> That's the kind of story I used to tell all the tourists. I always tell them stories like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they probably exactly. believe you though. Yeah, oh yeah, they did. Nobody they did. believes me when I say it. And finally, with our bellies grumbling, we are off in search of our first taste of the local cuisine. So we put out the little Instagram post and a lot of you guys told us to go to this like hidden little restaurant and what was it called again Brian? La Palapa del Capitan. So we'll see. We'll have a little bit of lunch. Mojitos, margaritas, pina coladas, cervezas, cerifes, guacamole and chicken fajitas. Mm. Oh that Bathroom sounds pretty good. Bathroom just for customers. <laughs> cool. Sweet. What'd you order Kaza? 
tacos? Uh, some fish tacos. Fish tacos? Mm-hmm. Beef tacos? Beef tacos. Beef tacos. Ceviche. Ceviche. Oh, yeah. Ceviche, huh? Get, get, get a little bite into that. Wow. Mm. You approve? That's good. Yeah. Mm. You think maybe only one mm. of the more ones? That is amazing from Papa. <laughs> that is so good. Mm. I'm in food heaven. Mm. Food heaven. Mm. Not a problem. Actually, we can do that when I find the beer store. Oh, perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. He's like, <laughs> one more? No? <laughs> well, mommy likes it. That's what counts. <laughs> and now we're going to go to uh, the North Beach. Yeah. Playa Norte. Check out the water. What, what's 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 this called? <laughs> I put me on the spot now. This is called Isla Mujeres. Oh, it's uh -huh. nice. no, no. Yeah. This is the Malecon of Isla Mujeres. Cool. Um, every city that is close to the water in Mexico has a Malecon, and this is the one in Isla Mujeres. This is the where you would go for a walk close to the beach, and they have the big letters for the tourists so they can ah, get a picture with, okay, with gotcha. the letters of the island, right? Cool. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on Isla Mujeres so far? I really like it. It's a very chill vibe. It's kind of, you know, it's touristy, but everything is so easy. And I like that you're just zooming around with golf carts most of the time. That is so cool, isn't it? <laughs> I know. And it's so, like, the water around here is beautiful. So it's been really nice to kind of, like, explore the land. But I feel like with two days with the scooter, like we could probably see everything. We've already gone around the island like three times. Yeah, I know. It takes 40 minutes a lap. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's really about uh, the food. Mm. You think maybe only one of the mm. ones? That is amazing from Papa. I love Mexican food. I've always said if like I could only have to eat one type of food for the rest of my life, it would be Mexican food. And so for me to be here is like in food heaven. We've been having some incredible food. I love this tour. Like, what is the chance that we run into this guy? I know. Like, right at the beginning of our day. Like, he's across and he's like, like, Hello. Hello. like, saw us pass here. He was sitting and having a beer or something, and we just happened to pass. And he's like, That's a karma, I feel like. Yeah. Just meant to be. I love driving around. It's something really cool. Like we never really drive around in cars and stuff. Yeah, it's such a novelty to just like sit and, and move. have a look out and move fast. <laughs> I know. It's like a land dinghy. Land dinghy. Yeah, it's great. Look at this, huh? You guys found the beach. We did, and it's pretty nice. Yeah. Look at all these boats over here. I know, <laughs> we could totally anchor Maggie over yeah. here. Yeah. Maggie! Maggie! Look at the little mermaid. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> look at this, look at this sand monster. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I'm at the beach. No, we're filming right now. <laughs> well, thank you for everything today, man. That was amazing meeting you. The just serendipity is what it is. Man, <laughs> you don't understand the luck, man. Like, I seriously dropped off my parents, turned around. I was like, okay, how am I gonna go find them? And you guys like rode past me. I was like, yep, that's them. <laughs> Run back to the car. <laughs> yeah, and I chase well, you. Thank yeah. you for the tour. That was probably the, the best day. tour you could have. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> nice. Thanks, guys. Up next on Delos. We leave Delos for a road trip across the Yucatan Peninsula of mainland Mexico. We explore the amazing underground caverns known as cenotes. Look at this view. Visit ancient Mayan ruins and get a private tour of a hacienda. What do you think about that? Nah. Has a drink and a beer? Mm. What do you think? Mm. I like the lime. <laughs> okay, now stand there and act like you're looking for your lost husband. He's been stranded on a boat at sea. Drive. Okay, Sierra, come back here with me. <laughs> no, Mom, I'm driving. No, I'm Let me just zoom right into this little pore on your face here. <laughs>